Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I own the Water Filter e-store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about troubleshooting reverse osmosis drinking water systems. And uh, very seldom something goes wrong with these systems. They last for years. But uh, one concern that does crop up occasionally is little or no flow coming from the faucet. Uh, what's happened is you've had the system for a number of years and all of a sudden you go to fill it, it fills the glass half full and then slows down to a dribble. So um, before we talk about troubleshooting the, the system, uh, you may want to familiarize yourself uh, with it. Um, I have another video in this series, how a reverse osmosis drinking water system works. And if you're not exactly sure um, how they work, you may want to review that first before you go on any further. So what we need to do now is uh, check and see where, where the problem is. And likely it's a problem with the tank. The tank's probably waterlogged. So very little water coming from the faucet. So what you need to do is lift the tank. See how full it is. A full tank will weigh somewhere around 20 pounds. An empty one, only a pound or two. So if the tank, the tank is full, if it's heavy, then uh, the problem is inside the tank. So before we go on, we need to shut off all the water going to the reverse osmosis system. So um, wherever the water is connected, there'll be a shutoff. It might look like this. So with this kind of a shutoff, you turn it clockwise until the water shuts off. And it, it actually does stop. So you, you keep turning it till it stops. Or if you have this kind of a shutoff, it's a ball valve shutoff, then you just turn this handle 90 degrees. Now when it's open, the ball valve is open, the handle is in the direction of the flow. When it's closed, it's 90 degrees to the flow. So that's what you want to do is turn it that way. And the same with the tank. There's a ball valve at the top. So again, you want to turn it 90 degrees. Now what you need to do is you need to disconnect the tank from the whole system. If you're not sure how to use the quick connect fitting to disconnect it, again, I have another great video in this series, how to use quick connect uh, fittings, and uh, that will help you with that. So disconnect the tank and then take it outside. So once you've taken it outside, you want to open up the ball valve and water will pour out of this fitting. Now it'll probably pour out at first and then it'll slow down to trickle and stop. You'll lift the tank and you notice that it's still heavy. So we got to get the rest of that water out of there. To do that, on the front here is a Schrader valve. You see this little cover? So you undo the cover and then you take a, either a compressor or a bicycle pump and hook it up to this and start pumping. And as you pump, you'll notice water will pour out of um, this fitting at the top. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get all the water out of the tank. Once all the water is out of the tank, then you want to take a low pressure um, tire pressure gauge like this one to check the pressure in, inside the tank. Now you have to make sure it reads down below 10 PSI. So it, a digital one like this one will work or there's special ones that you can get that will work. So now what you want to do is you want to check the pressure in there. Again, with the tank empty. So this one showing six and a half PSI. And that's about what it should be, somewhere between six to eight PSI. Some tanks have it written on the front what, what the settings should be. This one doesn't. But if it doesn't say, then six to eight PSI is where uh, you should be. So what you need to do at this point is it's probably going to read zero, yours. So what you need to do is repressurize this. So again, using the, the tire or the bicycle tire pump or a compressor, pump air into here. Now you don't have to pump a lot, so just pump a little bit. Check the pressure again, pump some more, check the pressure again until you get up to around 7 PSI. Once you've finished that, you can close this back up. Take the tank inside and reconnect it to your reverse osmosis system. Make sure the valve is open. And then um, your shutoff, you're going to want to open that. So you've got flow going to the system so it can refill and then you'll be good to go. If after a few days you run into the same problem again, that means the bladder inside the tank isn't holding the pressure. So what you need to do, you need to replace the whole tank. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos as they become available on this channel. And for more information, you can go to our websites, either uh, thewaterfilteresteStore.com or thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.